Hey, Fortnite fans, I'm Thomas Mons. Welcome into Chat Sports. Today's video, you're probably sleeping, you might not have seen. They have signed Trent Williams, they have signed Alex Mack, and they're rumored to be in the running for Deshaun Watson. A lot is going on in this video. I'm going to go ahead and break it all down on today's 49ers report. All right, 49ers fans, let's go ahead and jump right into the latest 49ers news and rumors, starting with the signing of Trent Williams. The, the way they were able to afford this guy and bring him back to San Francisco is very impressive. We'll start with a tweet. Diana Rossini has it up on her Twitter account. Quote, Trent Williams and the San Francisco 49ers deal is for six years, $138 million. He is the highest paid offensive lineman in NFL history. Of the 55 uh, million, 100,000 guaranteed, 30 million, 100, or 100,000, goodness, million is a signing bonus. The deal was done by, and then he quote books and does the two agents. This is about 30, uh, sorry, 23.01 million dollars per year. A massive, massive contract for the highest rated tackle in 2020 by Pro Football Focus. Now, I'm going to break this all down, but my initial thought is, Wow, it's impressive they were able to, one, get this done because there were other suitors, like the Chiefs, this is reported, were trying so hard to go ahead and sign Trent Williams. And Trent Williams said, you know what? I don't want to play, play for Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, which is a really tough thing to say, go ahead and say no to because that's like cream of the crop. I want to stay in San Francisco and be the highest paid left tackle in the entire National Football League. Very, very impressive for the eight-time Pro Bowler. It's just good news all around. If the 49ers had not been able to go ahead and sign Trent Williams, a massive hold goes ahead and becomes, I mean, real at left tackle. Instead, they got their guy, and they were able to afford their guy, which is something that I've been saying all along it was going to be hard to do. I mean, listen, I have talked about in the past how can they sign Trent Williams, but can they also go ahead and still sign Juszczyk? Can they sign two cornerbacks? Well, there's no way they can afford Alex Mack, and yet here we are. They are able to sign Trent Williams. They got two cornerbacks, two of their own, which is very, very important to do. They pay uh, Kyle Juszczyk the money that he wants and get Alex Mack. I mean, they have had an absolutely fantastic offseason so far and really great free agency, and it starts again by getting Trent Williams. Probably goes ahead and, and, and puts the cap on them signing any other free agents. Not saying that they won't, because you never know. John Lynch has been proven to work a lot of magic, but getting Trent Williams signed is absolutely absolutely massive. They now have their guy. So the offensive line, as you see, the depth chart looks really, really good. It looks really, really strong. And now that Alex Mack uh, is officially the center, as they signed him last night and shortly after Trent Williams, this offensive line immediately, in my opinion, becomes a top five offensive line in the National Football League that will be run heavy, but also have the ability to pass protect whoever the quarterback is, whether it's Jimmy Garoppolo, whether it's someone they draft, Sean Watson, you know, who knows? There's a lot of rumors floating around. What this also means, and this is important to go ahead and remember, Offensive tackle, no longer an option at number 12. Think about this. The number 12 overall pick, whether they want to trade up or trade back, they will not be drafting a left tackle because, one, they don't obviously need to. So Rayshon Slater's of the world, he obviously is no longer uh, on their draft board, in my opinion. And cornerback, too. I mean, maybe they go ahead and add a cornerback at number 12 if Sertan were to fall, but it feels like they want to go with Emmanuel Mosley and Jason Barrett. And so the options at number 12 are changing right now, and I think it creates a very interesting uh, place for the Niners to either trade it for a quarterback or trade back and get more draft picks and take the best player available. So the drafting, again, or sorry, the signing again of Trent Williams gives them so many more options going forward because if they had not been able to sign him, like let's just say he's like, you know what, you know, I appreciate you guys, but I want to go play for Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, as we said, was like a very real possibility late into last night. The 49ers then have to go, okay, do you want Justin School to be the starter at left tackle? And the answer to that is no. Or do we spend our 12th overall pick drafting somebody and hope that a rookie comes in in a pivotal year when you want to be a Super Bowl contending team, but maybe have a rookie at left tackle? I mean, these are really big questions question marks that no longer have to be answered. And so in my opinion, it is great news. It's expensive, but he is the number one rated left tackle by Pro Football Focus and obviously has been one of the great left tackles in this game and played very, very well last year. And so we're going to roll with $23 million a year and hope that over the next six years, he continues to be an anchor on this offensive line. The 49ers believe it. And so I'm going to go ahead and believe it too. What do you guys think? I mean, this is huge, right? Type congratulations down below. Just type just type congrats. We'll shorten it a little bit. Type congrats down below to congratulate Trent Williams on re-signing because this is, one, huge for him. He went on his Instagram, was celebrating it. The rest of the 49ers were celebrating it. It's a great day to go ahead and wake up a 49er fan. So do yourself a favor. Congratulate Trent Williams down below by typing congrats to go ahead and give your uh, approval of the signing. Now, you want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the 49 Hours Report because, as you see, I mean, stuff is, like, going crazy. It's super early here on a Wednesday. I think I said Monday earlier. It's super early on a Wednesday right now, and I'm up at them and cracking trying to get you guys the latest video. So reward me by hitting the subscribe button, right? I mean, it's all you got to do. Just hit the bigger subscribe button because we will have the latest 49ers. The rest of the free agent stuff, the rest of the week, John Watson trade stuff, you know we're going to talk about that in a little bit. So, you know, you never know. And if it happens, we'll cover it here. But make sure you guys are subscribed to the 49 Hours Report. We would greatly appreciate it. 
Okay, we mentioned it a little bit earlier, but of course the 49ers did another offensive line move just literally minutes after the Trent Williams deal was finalized. They went ahead and signed free agent uh, center Alex Mack, formerly of the Atlanta Falcons. This is something that's been rumored for the past couple of months. It was like, what's a good fit for Alex Mack? Well, the 49ers aren't going to have Weston Richburg because the injury with the hip and the surgery, and so they need a center. And of course, Alex Mack formerly played for Kyle Shanahan in 2016 with the Falcons, had a Pro Bowl year that year. This makes sense. And sure enough, here we are. Boom. This like completely worked out. I kind of feel like this was helped out by the Trent Williams deal because Trent Williams posted a tweet, or I think it was Instagram post, shortly after, tag, after, he, after he signed, tagging Alex Mack. Maybe they were working together to go ahead and kind of pitch the idea to Williams that they'd bring in Alex Mack to go ahead and shore up the offensive line. Mack fills a huge hole. I mean, it's as simple as that. They needed help at center. There weren't a lot of great centers in this draft. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a couple that you eventually find and you know, like look back years from now and the center's going to be really good. But in my opinion, there were no real centers that you said, yeah, for sure at number 12. There were left tackles that would make sense, but Centers at number 12 did not, and so I feel like it was just as simple as, hey, we'll give him uh, a, little bit, a little bit of money here. Mac can roll in, and he's a guy who can be very, very consistent and has been very, very consistent at the center position. He's had like one season where he was banged up, and the rest he's been a surefire starter basically his entire career. He's a veteran leader, and he's going to be, a, in my opinion, a great help to whoever is quarterback again, whether it's Garoppolo or somebody else from the center position. There's not much more to react to, but they have signed Alex Mack to me a great deal. And as I said earlier with the Trent Williams news, this becomes a top five offensive line almost instantly with them bringing him back and signing Alex Mack. I feel very, very confident about their chance of being one of the better lines in the league, and that will bode well for whoever the quarterback is, which I keep repeating because we don't know who it is going to go ahead and be. All right, before we keep going, March Madness, a couple of days away. I know you get your brackets filled out. I filled out mine just the other day. Spoiler alert, Baylor is, is, is winning in my bracket. Just, you know, shocker there because, of course, graduated from Baylor. But if you guys want to get in on the betting frenzy and win some money while watching the March Madness games, do it with our friends at BetUS. And guess what? We're going to send you a brand new 49ers jersey if you sign up. So here's how you, how, how, how you do it. Very simple. Follow these steps. Go to chatsports.com forward slash 49bet. That's your link. And then, of course, put your $100 or more deposit down. Use our promo code NINERS125 to get the deposit bonus. Then, all you have to do is place a bet on March Madness. So whatever March Madness, you want to do a game on Friday, you want to do the National Championship winners, whatever you want, place a bet on March Madness and send us an email proving that you did to 49ers at chatsports.com. And then, of course, tell us what jersey you want, right? Do you want the Nick Bosa red scarlet jersey, the George Kittle red scarlet jersey, either one, you know, men's, women's, small, medium, large, extra large, whatever you want. All you got to do, again, chatsports.com forward slash 49 bet. Use the promo code NINERS125. Be a new bet US customer. Put that $100 down. Place a bet on March Madness and then go ahead and email us the proof at 49ers at chatsports.com to claim your jersey. If you need some help, Baylor, you know, plus 450. That's why I put my bet down. Honestly, I, 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 I picked them to win and I put my bet down. So I'm going with Baylor because I'm a Baylor I'm a Baylor guy. I'm a Baylor homer. You guys know this, but you can bet on any teams or any games. Just all you got to do, again, is place a bet on March Madness and show us the proof. Any questions, always just email us. You need help setting up the, the, the account for uh, 49ers. At chatsports.com is the place to do that as well. And we'll get you guys started with your account for BetUS and get you betting and hopefully winning some money as March Madness is here. Like you got to get your picks in right now. All right, let's go ahead and move on to some more 49er news here. And this is interesting. The Deshaun Watson uh, saga, let's call it, fiasco, I don't know what you want to call it, continues to uh, turn another page and build a little bit more steam. So, honestly, it felt like the Deshaun Watson the 49ers was kind of starting to fizzle out a little bit because we hadn't heard reports the past couple of weeks. And it was kind of like the situation where the 49ers want to go ahead and spend the draft picks to go ahead and get Deshaun Watson. Well, Michael Lombardi was on the Rich Eisen show a couple of days ago and says that the 49ers and Broncos are the two teams, the only two teams that San Francisco, or that the, excuse me, that the Houston Texans, sorry, let's make that uh, official, they're the only two teams that Watson wants to be traded to. The Texans, you know, don't want to trade them at all, but Watson says the two spots he wants to go to are the Broncos and 49ers, which is something we heard like two months ago, and we talked about it, obviously, uh, because the 49ers were, you know, one of the big feature teams that could go ahead and get Deshaun Watson. So here was Michael Lombardi's official uh, announcement, let's just call it, speaking to Rich Eisen on the Rich Eisen Show. Quote, Watson controls where he wants to go. The rumor is he doesn't want to play in New York. He doesn't want to play in Miami. He wants to play in Denver and San Francisco. How about that? End quote. It's interesting. It's interesting. Now, again, I talked about, and I've talked about this before, do the 49ers want Deshaun Watson? Not, not, not do they want Deshaun Watson, because obviously, obviously they do. Do they want to pay for Deshaun Watson? 
Do you want to give up as a 49er fan or as the 49er front office three first round draft picks plus two star players, four first round draft picks plus one star player, or five first round draft picks? This is not any sort of exaggeration. That's the cost to go ahead and trade for Deshaun Watson right now. Now, Watson can come out and say, I only want to be a 49er, handing all the levers to San Francisco, and maybe bring the price down to three first round draft picks. And you, the fan, have to decide if that's worth it to you. And honestly, I, I wouldn't hate it. But it's a lot to go ahead and give up for a quarterback. Now, we all know how great Deshaun Watson is. There is no debating the greatness of Deshaun Watson. And I honestly think he could be a missing piece to a 49er run for the Super Bowl here in 2021 based on the moves that they've done and the team that they have built. However, what if you just drafted somebody at 12? Right? Like, what if you just what just keep Garoppolo and then draft Trey Lance? Or keep Garoppolo and trade up and get Justin Fields? Like, or keep Garoppolo and trade up and get Zach Wilson? Like, seriously, think about this. To trade up... From 12 to, let's say, 8 or 9 or maybe even 6 with, with Philadelphia will cost you this year's first-round draft pick and next year's first-round draft pick and probably like a mid-round pick after that. To trade for Sean Watson, it's three first-round draft picks minimum plus more at this time. If they trade for less, great. But at this time, that's the cost that we know and we keep hearing. So would you rather spend less for a quarterback that could be better than Deshaun Watson? I mean, we don't know how good trade lines is going to be. Or do you want to go ahead and just pay more for Deshaun Watson because you know what you're going to get? That is the real question right now and a question that I honestly don't have the answer to. I mean, if Trey Lance is there at 12... And you haven't traded for Deshaun Watson, and you don't need an offensive lineman anymore. You don't really need cornerback anymore, and probably Patrick Sertan won't be there. Maybe you just roll the dice and take Trey Lance, put him in a quarterback battle against Garoppolo, and then you see what happens. Like, this is a fluid thing that I'm trying to work through here, trying to figure out what the 49ers will do at quarterback. And it feels like Watson being so expensive is not necessarily a reality. But at the same time, maybe I'm proven wrong. Maybe Watson comes out and says he only wants to play for the 49ers. Maybe this was it, right? I want to play for Denver and the 49ers. 49ers can then bring the price down and go ahead and get him in a 49er uniform. But that is yet to be seen. But it's a real question here. Would you rather draft a quarterback or trade for Deshaun Watson? I mean, seriously, draft a quarterback or trade for Deshaun Watson. Let me know what you guys think. Type D down below for draft. Type T down below for trade. I think we're going to get a lot of mixed comments on this. And I, I'm very curious to see what people say, whether they want to draft somebody or trade somebody. Let me know down below. All right, final bit of news here, and this is quick and interesting. Let's go straight into the Matt Mayoko NBC Sports Bay Area tweet. And in a kind of a surprise move, which I've never really seen in the NFL, the Niners are getting back Marquise Goodwin. Quote, per terms of the Marquise Goodwin to Eagles trade last year, Goodwin reverts back to the 49ers, the NFL announced Thursday. 49ers must send the Eagles their original seventh round pick this year. San Francisco now has nine draft picks. This is weird, and this is like, I mean, okay, I guess, okay, welcome back, come on back, you go ahead and put him back into the depth chart, which needs a wide receiver, because Kendrick Bourne obviously went ahead and signed with the New England Patriots, but it's interesting to see how this works, so I guess it's as simple as some of the terms for the Goodwin contract, you opted out last year, never played for Philadelphia, were not met, and so Philadelphia can void the trade, essentially, send him back to San Francisco, and the Niners give up the seventh uh, their seventh round draft pick to Philadelphia, and they'd go ahead and take on the contract, which is like $4.5 million in dead cap money, I think, and that sounds, that sounds about right. So either way, it's like, will they keep him? Will they cut him? I think there's a real chance they could go ahead and cut Marquise Goodwin because you don't really know if he's going to be even ready to play just based on the fact he didn't play last year. But as of right now, he's been added to the 49ers wide receiver depth chart and will fill in the Kendrick Bourne hole until the Niners want to go ahead and you know update that in terms of signing somebody on free agency or drafting somebody uh, in the NFL draft. There you go. What a day. I mean, this is crazy. Early here on a Wednesday, getting you guys the latest 49ers news and rumors. Wanted to jump on here on the channel just to make sure that you guys are up to date because that's what we do. It's my job to keep you guys ready, ready to rock. Plenty of news. I mean, we had a, I mean, a lot. So a little bit longer video, but I appreciate you guys hanging on. Again, stay subscribed because we're going to be doing a bunch more videos and we'll keep you guys updated as we always do here on the 49ers Report. For Chat Sports, I'm Thomas Mop. signing off the rest of your day.